everyone, so it's here. Today, for this year's anniversary, they released the development update for January 2023. So let's go through the development update and see what's coming. So Happy New Year! Please read on for a January 2023 development update to learn more about what the team has been up to and what's next for DC Universe Online. What follows are our plan laid out as transparently as possible based what we know or expect to be true as of right now. Plans can always change. So the biggest things out of it, they already mentioned it here if you don't want to read the whole update yourself, is that episode 45 is shock to the system. And of course, emotes are coming. Uh, which is a pretty big deal because people have been asking for it for a long time. Here they talk about what happened so far, uh, September, December, 2022 has come and gone. Uh, we had the launch of the new Homecoming seasonal with, with Starfire and Blackfire, the Witching Hour in October, and of course his new greetings in December, new rewards from Dr. Fate, uh, Batman himself and Black Adam as allies, several new bundles, we celebrated Extra Life as he closed out the year, and launched new storylines in episode 44, The Sins of Black Adam. In game updates, we launched an, update, an updated allies interface, a new scorecard feats interface, so you can quickly see what feats are relevant for you while inside content, and a new costume plane interface. I didn't revise each, and then revise them again. We don't say it enough, so thank you for your feedback and help, uh, and help getting these systems where we want them to be. I like the humor. They tried to put here. Next on this year, so we will kick off 2023 with an annual Attack of the Anti Monitor anniversary event, and we will follow with new rewards in both the Love Conquerors All in February and Mr. Mix Bliss, I don't know how to say his name, Mischief in Mirth uh, seasonal events. In case you missed it, the Shazam ally just released last week, and we have at least one more ally on the way in the quarter. We expect to have a new artifact, new time capsule, and new Dr. Fate's re daily rewards each month. By the way, when they say each month, I mean Dr. Fate's rewards. They don't mean new capsule and artifact each month. Don't get confused. And a new episode too. Shock to the system. The Dakota City just built different. The Big Bang attack that created new heroes, villains, and victims has drawn sinister, utterly otherworldly attention. Evelyn's powers cast a long shadow, but it's the Apocalyptian Paradigmas that has static shocked enough to content you. I love the wordplay here. Static shocked enough. <laughs> Why are people disappearing? Why is Apocalypse turning attention to the Kada City? And will it be able to take on such a shadowy threat? In shock to the systems, players will travel to the heart of the milestone universe in the Kata City to offer help and to investigate why these heroes and villains are disappearing. Things to know about static shock. Uh, sorry. Things to know about check to the system. Check to the system will offer normal and the lead version. Don't say anything about the lead flow. So may not be. I don't know. Of on duty content along with level agonistic event versions available for a limited time. The content will include open world mission and world bosses with a duo alert and raid. So we only get one raid. Interesting. The episode will feature DC and Milestone characters including Static, Ebon, Rocket, Desad, and more. And the storyline will include adventurers centered around the new Dakota City and written by acclaimed comic book writer Leon Shields. Nice. The episode will launch new player rewards including gear, styles, and more. It's coming out in Spring 2023 on PC, PlayStation 4, and 5 obviously, Xbox One, Nintendo, and Nintendo Switch. So it looks like Nintendo will get it with everyone currently. And next, Dimensional Link, January, March. The bulk of the new next few months will be focused on episode 45 and the early stages of episode 46. We are also very excited to announce we will work on a new emote system. With this feature, we'll be able to collect new emotes and animation to better express yourself throughout the game. We will have more to share on this feature in the coming months. Um, of course, we will, work, uh, we will also continue our work on next-gen console releases for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X due later this year. So, the new remote system is something that got uh, my attention. Looks like they will try to monetize it, obviously, um, makes sense, but hopefully we will get first good emotes for free and then they will try to monetize it. Uh, next on DCEO, April and the future. Looking to the rest of the year, we expect to launch episode 46 in the summer 
and episode 47 in the fall along with new allies and artifacts. One of these episodes is likely to be pretty dark while the other is expected to be very not. I imagine they're talking about Dark Crisis, <laughs> which is the newest event that happened in the comics recently. So that's what I'm getting for it. It's not hundred percent. We expect to return to save the universe and the rest of the seasonal events as well. And yes, release on those next gen consoles. More in the future as we live it. And here you have a calendar if you don't want to read everything. Actually, I see the maps posted as so it looked like Pandora was busy, but. That's pretty much it. So quarter one, episode 45, Attack of the Anti-Monitor, we have it now, Love Crank Resolve and Mr. Spidalek Mischief. Yeah, I said it correctly. Quarter two, Springtime Event, Tides of War and Emote System. Quarter three, episode 46, Save the Universe, Homecoming Event. Episode 47, In the Future, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X in the Future. I know they've been pushing it again and again, but I do believe it will come out because they have a deadline on it, obviously, so it has to come out eventually. Uh, but it looks cool. <laughs> I mean, we're getting finally to the Kota City and we see uh, Static and other you know, some characters like uh, Rocket. I know Controller from the firms is going to be very happy about this episode. <laughs> I can't wait to see his reaction. He was kind of quiet, but I'm sure when he see it, he will be very excited. Um, I know I'm excited. So this is pretty cool. Thank you guys for joining me on reading that development update. I'll see you in the next one. So don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you really want to make my day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.